In this video, we are going to see how to send text message in Quill Messenger from Google Sheets. So here my objective is that every time a new row is added in my spreadsheet with some new data, let's say it is the data about the new lead, then I want to send a message in Quill Messenger where I'm going to talk to my team about the new lead. So the information has to be sent. How can we do that? So here, every time a new row would be added, so automatically a text message would be sent. To do this, we are going to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So our trigger application here will be Google Sheets and our action application will be Quill Messenger. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. As we do that, here we have reached the landing page. On the right hand side, we have the options to either sign in or sign up. I'm going to click on sign in. As I do that, here we have reached all applications page and these are the various products of Pabli. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that here, we can see that we have reached the dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name. What is my objective here? That every time I receive a new information in my Google Sheet, which means a new row is added there in my Google Sheet, let's say it is the information about the new lead, then automatically a message should reach my team which is sitting on Quill Messenger. So I'm going to name it as send text message in Quill Messenger from Google Sheets. Let's click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. So trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. Now what is the trigger event? It is the event that is going to make this workflow start and here it would be new row. So every time a new row would be added, so this workflow is going to run. Next is the webhook URL. So we have received this webhook which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this. Once copied, we have to follow the following help text. So please read this carefully. Now I'm going to take you to the Google Sheets that I already have created. So the name of the spreadsheet here is new leads. Then the name of this sheet is sheet one. And here we have the following fields, first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Now, if you want to have more information, you can obviously add more columns and more information. Next, we have to integrate this particular sheet with Pabli Connect. To do so, first I'm going to take you to extensions. Let's go to add-ons, get add-ons, as we do that, here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace and here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. So you can see that this software is already installed on my system. So you have to make sure that once you install this, close this window and do not forget to refresh the page. This is absolutely important. And once we have refreshed, we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to take you back to extensions. You would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks. Let's go to initial setup here. As we do that here, you can see that the system has already selected the sheet. And now here we have to paste the webhook URL. So this URL that we had just received, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this over here. Then we have to enter the trigger column. Now the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. And in this particular sheet, my data is added here in column D. I'm going to mention D here. Let's click on submit. As we do that, we can see that the configuration is all set. Let's click on send test. And here we can see that the test data has been successfully sent to Pabli Connect. Let's go and check the same. So yes, we have received the response. This here is the trigger column, spreadsheet name, ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index. Then we have the phone number, last name, first name, and email address. This row index is row 2 since we had the information in row 2. 
Now here my objective is that every time a new event is added in this split sheet. So public connect should have the information. To ensure this, we are going to take you back to extensions, public connect webhooks and here you can see send on event. Let's click on this. As we do that, here it is going to ensure that every time there's a new event, then public connect will have the information and once you do that, you would be able to see this check sign right in front. So now I'm going to take you back to public connect. And here I have received this information. Now I want to send the information of, let's say this is the new lead information to my team sitting on Quill Messenger. So my action application here will be Quill. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be send a text message. Let's click on connect. So here public connect wants to connect itself with the Quill Messenger account. Let's click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the user API key, user API key secret and the region. And how can we receive this? First, we have to log into the Quill Messenger. So I already have done that. Then we have to click on profile picture, then select my profile. So this here is my Quill Messenger. Now here we have the profile picture. Let's go to my profile. Here we have to go to user API keys, create a user API key. Let's say the name here is new123. Now I'm going to allow the permissions for read only chat actions, write only chat actions, export data and read or write contact actions. Let's click on create. As we do that here, we have received the user API key. I'm going to copy this and paste this here in public connect. Then we need the secret key. Again, I'm going to copy this and paste this here. Now again, for the region, it is written. This value is available in your user API key page, which means I'm going to first click on done. And here you can see the region name. This here is the region name. Let's copy this, go back to public connect paste this over here let's click on save so once we do that here our connection is all set now we have to enter the chat id so which means that as i take you to quill messenger i can create a group chat where every time a new row is added in my google sheet then automatically like this i can receive the information so i'm going to click on this plus icon let's click on this you can see a new chat can be created here now what is the chat title so google sheets leads okay i'm going to add a few members okay once done let's click on create and here you can see that my chat box has been created now to get the chat id we are going to go to details and then here is the chat id so i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here once this is done now the text so i can write team new lead details have been added in the new lead spreadsheet now the details are so first of all i want to give the name of the lead now how can i add the name of the lead here so here i'm going to use a method which is known as mapping for this we will have to go to the previous step and as i take you down this here is the first name let's give a space this is the last name now this method with which I have added the information is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written the same information manually, then even when my workflow was running for some nth time with some new information, it wouldn't have taken that information. Instead, it would have been stuck with this manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Let's add the mobile number now. So again, I'm going to go to the previous step and this here is the mobile number. Then we are going to add the email address. So again, let's go down and here we have got the email address. Okay. Now I'm just going to write regards. Okay. Let's click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response. Let's go and check our Quill Messenger and you can see we have received the message here in our chat box which means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to google sheets and we are going to add information here so let's say it is test user one two three then we have the email address which is test user at pablitudes.com and the phone number okay the moment i click on enter i should receive this message in quill messenger and you can see that yes we have received the information 
this means that our integration is a success taking you back to public connect let's quickly see what we have to do so here our trigger application is google sheets where the event is new or updated spreadsheet row and our action application is quill messenger where the event is to send a text message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.